Okay, I I think let's get started. Um, thank you for those who are joining early. Um, so thanks thanks for being with us uh, this Tuesday for our week nine uh, virtual roundtable uh, as part of our fourteen weeks fourteen virtual roundtable series. Um, if you don't already know. Uh, we are running this series to support you around success factors, uh, best practices, and really just to uh, help you get the most significant benefit from the technology uh, during this pandemic and uh, remote work. Um, you can find more information and register on uh, our website. Uh, we are running quite a few webinars currently, so there's really something for everybody. Um, so today's session is all about uh, managing time and attendance with success factors and in case you have any questions please type it into the question box in your control panel uh, I'll bring it up during the presentation or um, address it at the end as we will have some time um, okay I think I won't take any any more time and I will now pass over to Manjana who will be uh, delivering this session for us so over to you Manjana yeah, thank you Asuna thank you very much and uh, hello everyone, good morning and good afternoon based on your time zone. So my name is Manjunath Biki. I'm working as an Employee Central Lead Consultant with Talent Team from past one and a half year. So I have more than 10 years, more than 10 years of experience into ERP implementations and uh, I have experience across various implementations and support projects in different industries and different sectors. Uh, coming to my certifications, I am certified in uh, different modules of success factors and I am professionally certified in Employee Central and I got associate certification in onboarding 2.4 and Employee Central payroll and compensation management and SAP HCM ECC 7.4. Yeah. So uh, it's an immense pleasure and I am very happy to share my experience on how the organizations uh, can overcome from this pandemic by using uh, and by effective planning on time and attendance management. Because time and attendance management is very crucial in every organization, especially in this pandemic, to make the productive environment where the employees are working in remote. Yeah. So, it is very, very uncertain situations where no one had expected and predicted and uh, it is very tough time for every organization are going through and uh, pandemic risk and we can how how we can minimize the impact of risk let's let let's let's discuss on all those things now yeah so it is very important to manage time and attendance to reduce the risk of pandemic and ongoing projects as well as employees health. So by having a proper time and attendance management plan in place, you can reduce the risk of pandemic on ongoing projects, especially by planning your work schedules, like basically well, your, um, you can have a proper plan on your uh, employees working patterns so that your ongoing projects will not have much impact and as well as the employees health wise as well. So if you have uh, the working pattern planned in well in advance, so you can also help an employees to manage their uh, health conditions as well. Yeah. So by having a proper time and attendance management in place or with effective time management, time and attendance management in place, you can, you can handle all this uh, all these scenarios like you know you can track the employees regular and pandemic specific leave type so in time and attendance management you can basically create a different time types or absence types to uh, tackle this or do you can you can by by creating a special leave types based on the pandemic specific leave types so, so you can just track an employees uh, employees regular leave types and the pandemic specific leave types by creating a different uh, uh, reports and dashboards yeah you can reduce the risk of cross infection for employees so by having a proper time and uh, attendance management in place basically by proper plan in the work pattern of the employees you can reduce the cross employee infection in the organization yeah so like basically instead of we having a 
all the 100% of employees in this organization uh, in the company to work and uh, it is we cannot maintain the social distancing between the employees so by having a proper working patterns between the employees by ha by having a proper plan in uh, uh, creating a different working patterns for the employees uh, you can uh, you can keep the social distancing in the company and uh, you can reduce the cross employee infection yeah effective plan of employee working patterns which will minimize the impact of current products the same like how uh, just now we have discussed so you can have the proper working patterns basically the work schedules the when which shift the employee has to work and what skill set has to be available at what time so right skill set has to be available at the right time to uh, address the issues that are arising in the uh, organization or just to the right skill set has to be available to handle the current existing projects with a minimal impact so by having a proper working patterns designed in the organization through time and attendance management you can have the current projects the ongoing current projects uh, run with a minimal impact yeah better better reporting and documentation which helps the, which helps for you to take a key business decision so we can have a different reports created based on the or uh, leaves that has been applied by the employees and you can based on the reporting that whatever we do we can create a uh, impact of the risk like we can create the effect that like how, how many people got affected in the organization how many people are applied this pandemic specific leave types in this uh, covid situation so based on that we can just assess the risk of uh, risk of the pandemic and we can also assess the uh, effect of the pandemic yeah and you can also have a different document it helps you to you know uh, collect the documents in this pandemic situation uh, situation and basically this documentation and reporting will help you to take a key business decision basically while the employer is applying or uh, the pandemic specific leave types you can just uh, have a different business rules in place in time and attendance management system so that the employees should attach the Uh, supporting documents where when they got affected and what where uh, he they are taking the uh, treatment for this covid if they are affected and what type of quarantines that they are going to whether they are in self quarantine or mandatory quarantines so all these supporting documents that we can collect from the employees so that uh, uh, we can have a better documentation documentation is in place so eventually this will help for uh, taking a key business decisions digitalized time tracking to reduce uh, reduce administrative task for hr and time administrator so basically uh, when we have in many uh, manufacturing organizations where the employees the blue colors and white where they'll be having blue blue colors and white colors so bl where the blue colors will be working in a shop floor and they'll be they'll not be having the ess access and they'll not be having the system access to uh, record their time so uh, by enabling this digital digitalized time tracking Uh, we can basically by enabling the mobile app or uh, digital time tracking system in the time administ uh, time and attendance management system so you can reduce the administrative task for hr administrator or time administrator instead of hr or time administrator going and updating or applying the leaves or recording the employees time uh, the em employees they themselves can go and record their time and which we, we, where we will assign the workflows for that and it will go for certain workflows for approval and once after approved then it will go and hit in the database so by adopting the digitalized time tracking we can just reduce the administrative tasks for hr and time administrator so easy doing of shift mo shift modifications and shift exchanging and shift movement etc so by modifying the shifts and shift exchanging and shift movement from one employee to employee uh, one employee to another employee to manage your work patterns to execute your daily uh, day to day activities in the organization by the employees so you can you can adopt a different tools where you can directly import or export our api facility tools to uh, modify your existing shift instead of you go and edit the employee employee's work schedule on the screen case to case uh it will take more time even for the hr administrator or time administrator who is maintaining the shift schedule for an employees so you can think of adopting a new technology and uh, different tools to uh, easy go, different tools to different tools which will 
expedite basically it will make your work faster and uh, you can just basically you can just plan your uh, work patterns for an employees in the excel sheet and they can just uh, import it yeah so uh, like this will provide uh, uh, flexibility in working so by having a proper plan in the work schedule like by using the shift modification shift exchanging and shift moment we can provide a flexibility uh, in working for an employees yeah yeah so here a uh, time and attendance so i can say this is a solution to reduce the risk because by having a proper time and attendance management in the system in the organization uh, so uh, it, it, like you, you have a solution to reduce the risk from the pandemic situation like covid-19 so here we are going to discuss about how absence management due to pandemic covid-19 so uh, what are the things that we need to take care of and what are the things that we need to execute we need to create in absence management absence management uh, due to this pandemic especially to overcome from this pandemic covid-19 so special leave types creation to track the employee self condition so basically we need to or uh, create a different leave types apart from the regular, regular leaves say for example you have a regular leaves regular sick leaves for an employees uh, to avail based on the company's uh, policy so especially to in this kind of pandemic situation you you have to create a, a special leave types which is specific to pandemic where you can easily track the employee's health condition by creating a different reports and when the employee applies this special leave type so easily we can uh, we will know when employee got affected and he's trying to utilize this leave and the enough information we can just uh, get on call with employee and just get the enough information and track this employee's health condition whether whether the we can also plan the risk evaluation uh, for this which is specific to pandemic yeah uh, update of work schedules time or time sheet do to differentiate the absence due to self quarantine and mandatory quarantine so by having as now just now we have discussed by of creating a different leave types which is specific to pandemic so by applying this leave types we can clearly differentiate whether the employee is in quarantine because of the, the employees are playing this particular absence type is due to self quarantine and mandatory quarantine so while employees are playing for a leave we can just get different information from an employee uh, in through a comments or by having a different documentation is in place uh, we can clearly differentiate whether the employee's absence is due to the pandemic or it's a normal leave or whatever it is so we can clearly basically we, by having a different leave types created and the work schedule updated and time sheet updated we can differentiate whether the employee is in self quarantine and mandatory quarantine in uh, specific to this pandemic covid-19 yeah update better update workflows to better tracking on employee self condition so here instead of having a regular workflows in place for all uh, same as like other leave types so you can have different you can also try to update the work workflows which we have already in place uh by by adding uh, say for example if, if you are already most of now now most of the organizations are already have created this to covid-19 task force team so you can also add this covid-19 task force team in the existing workflows for this pandemic specific leave types so that uh, as in when the employee applies for this leave this special leave they, if they are while so it goes to a covid-19 task force team for approval so when they are approving so they will uh, they will also get on call with an employee and uh, get more details related to pandemic like what how he got affected and why he got affected what is his self condition all those details you can they can just track by updating the existing workflows other than the regular workflows so especially we can have this uh pandemic specific leave types workflows updated we can just have a better tracking on the employee's health condition and by making a temporary changes to the rules to generate the quota balances so uh, the pandemic is not a permanent so uh, we we have we may have to think of creating the temporary changes to a business rules by creating a effective date uh, affected business rules and you can change the logic in the business rules to generate uh, different quota balances especially for this pandemic situation so where we can uh, we, we can easily roll out the roll back the changes that whatever we have created 
which are if those are temporary and uh, even the, when the the pandemic has cleared and when we back to the normal life so easily we can roll back the changes that whatever we made for the existing business rules as per the policy yeah and in absence management we can have a different uh, report reporting and dashboards created which which will give a clear impact uh, a clear risk impact of the pandemic so we can have a different reports created based on the employees uh, absence that they have availed due to this pandemic so we can have different dashboards created especially this will help you to uh, basically this will help organization to take a key business decisions like how to track this uh, I means how to tackle this pandemic yeah okay so now in this covid uh, 19 pandemic we are most of the organizations are uh, adopting the work from home policy and uh, managing remote working yeah work from home policy so now here we need to think of how to manage remote working and work schedule pr practice change so we need to think on the changes in the work schedule practice and how the how you have to manage the remote working so by technology enablement for remote accessibility by relaxing the network restrictions to access the system outside of the company yeah so basically uh, like we there are many organizations where they they will not allow employees to access their company's network outside of the company's uh, company range so they cannot access the system outside of the company basically uh, they cannot access the company's network in remote so by relaxing the network restrictions by whitelisting the ips uh, you can it, it's a temporary relaxation relaxation for uh, uh, the restrictions to access uh, the outside of the company because uh, the uh, in this covid 19 pandemic the all the employees cannot come to the office and work and if you don't enable this relaxation in the network restriction restrictions and uh, you will not th there will be a big impact on the current ongoing projects and uh, they you will not be able to ha have the productive environment in the organization yeah so in case uh, you uh, as per your uh, company guidelines or uh, company uh, policies uh, regulations you uh, you should not uh, relax this network restrictions or to access the system outside of the company you can think of vpn and rsa token and which will disturb these are all the uh, these are the few uh, tools that will have a secure network for an employees to access the company's network and outside of the company yeah which eventually provides you a product and a productive environment without any impact on the uh, current ongoing projects in the company yeah so uh, enable collaborative working patterns features like shift bidding and shift swapping so we have to think of collaborative working patterns among the employees uh, by shift beddings basically uh, we can ask the employees like what time is suitable for them to work and uh, like what is their working uh, work schedule flexibility you can basically you can just provide a flexibility for an employees what at what time they can work based on the region that they are coming from yeah and also you can just have a shift swapping uh, feature where we can just have uh, you, you can choose the shift of an employee so that you can just tell the employees that they have to work on this time and this time like that because you have to ensure like by having this flexibility you have you also have to ensure that the right skill set is available at the right time to execute the projects without any disturbance yeah flexible work arrangement to resolve the prioritized issues yeah just now we have discussed right so we have to make the work uh, patterns little flexible where the employees will work at the right time to resolve the prioritized issues so right skill set has to be available at the right time to resolve the prioritized issues where we have many incidents in basically if you take a support uh, support environment where we'll be having a many issues that which will affect more with a few incidents may affect less so where we have a more impact on the business so that we need to be considered as a very prioritized 
and we need to address those issues those issues uh, uh, in uh, in a right time so we had to by having this flexible work arrangements you had to ensure the right skill set be available at a right time yeah forecasting the manpower demand by considering the current situation to avoid the risk of over and uh, understaffing so you had to forecast the manpower demand that is required to execute your day to day transactions by considering the situation basically this will help you to avoid the over and understaffing so we don't know whether the employee will be all right tomorrow or all right day after tomorrow when they they get affected and they learn get affected so always ensure to have a backup so that your existing uh, uh, activities your day to day activities will not get impact much yeah finally uh, ensure the needs of both employees and business are met so by having all these uh, arrangements and uh, having a proper time and attendance management system you can ensure uh, all your uh, uh, employees needs and uh, business needs are met be, like so employees needs will be met based on the, by considering their health conditions uh, you can allow the employees to take a, a leave which is specific to this pandemic and also you can by having a proper work schedule pattern you can ensure the right skill set is available at the right time you can ensure the you can ensure all your business requirements are met and uh, your ongoing projects are not affected much due to this pandemic yeah so other the country countries compliance policies so every company has to follow the local countries compliance specific rules and regulations which may be a specific to pandemic or may not be a specific to pandemic so normally uh, all countries different countries come up with uh, different requirements and they have changed the rules and regulations like how the organization has to run in this especially in this covid-19 pandemic yeah so uh, to follow the country's uh, compliance policies you may also have to think of uh, creating a pandemic specific leave type as per the country's legislation so different countries have come up with different uh, rules and regulations by uh, they have, they have just imposed a different rules to create a, a different leave types which are specific to this pandemic so that employees can go on avail this pandemic and the regular leaves will be, remain same for the employees yeah adapt uh, up to date workplace uh, workplace regulation so there are uh, many rules and regulations that as government has imposed on the organizations that we have to be always up to date in that regulations so that uh, we can we we are not going to violate the country's compliance policies you also can design you also have to design the work pattern for an employee's presence in the office as per the latest updates from the government so due to this pandemic the 100 full 100% of staff should not attend in the company because which will increase the risk of pandemic by uh, cross cross employee infection so because of which the countries has come up with uh, only 30% of manpower has to be present in the office or 40% of manpower has to be there in the office the organization should run this much percentage uh, this much percentage of uh, manpower so by considering all those rules and update from the government you also have to plan have to ensure the right skill set is available at the right time to execute your day to day transactions and eventually which it should not impact on your current ongoing projects so you have to design your working patterns in such a way that there is no much disturbance and uh, you you can easily tackle this covid-19 pandemic yeah so preca precautionary measures while tracking the employees attendance so we had to be very cautious while tracking the employees attendance because uh, this may increase the uh, cross employee infection so when the employees are attending in the organization when the employees are coming to the companies so while you are tracking the attendance so you also you you have to think of adopting a different time machines which are maybe a touchless time machines so 
so that it will avoid the risk of cross uh, cross employee spreading so maybe once the employee uh, like employees are coming from uh, different places to the organization where they'll be traveling maybe through a public transport or maybe their own transport whatever it is so once they uh, they reached the office while they're uh, tracking while they're punching the time so they like uh, till now all most of the organizations are using the thumb impression so fingerprint scanning for tracking the attendance so uh, we have to think of taking a precautionary measures in this uh, biometric terminals where you can so that we can avoid the risk of cross employee infection yeah so attendance policies and attendance tracking system so you may have to amend your existing attendance policies and attendance tracking system policies uh, just to manage your uh, uh, co uh, manage covid-19 pandemic yeah so you may have to think of temporary suspension of attendance policies which includes missing punching alerts and uh, attendance monitoring uh, etc until digital attendance collection setup is in place so uh, I, like most of the organizations are having this alerts when the employee is missing the punch in or missing punch out or if they take any breaks and if they miss out to punch in and punch out so there are all there are already uh, configurations and um, uh, policies is in place where system automatically send out the alerts for a manager or to the employee saying you have missed to punch out or punch in something like that so you have you may have to temporarily suspend until we have the digital attendance collection setup is in place so you until this pandemic is clear once the employees are back to the organization once the all our life is back to a normal work so until that you may have to think of suspending this kind of uh, punch in alerts and um, attendance monitoring alerts uh, in, like if you don't suspend temporary like this may be a, this will be a temporary suspension it's not a permanent suspension once the pandemic is clear then you can uh, roll it back and you can have all these alerts in place so that you can have a better tracking yeah so if you don't temporarily suspend this uh, uh, alerts from the system so system will bombard with the emails uh, to uh, employees and managers though they are working in a remote the system will bombard with the emails and they they it will be uh, uh, it will be very difficult for an employees and even to the managers to track uh, the employees attendance yeah so changes in attendance policies to reduce the risk of cross employee spreading so you can also think of changing the changing or amending the attendance policies that as of now that what we have in the organization which will reduce the cross employee spreading so basically uh, you have you have to change the attendance policies that employee can work in remote it need not all the employees has to be present in the organization so that you can reduce the risk of cross employee spreading yeah update the attendance policies specific to pandemic so you you may have to think of updating or revising the attendance policies which are uh, adhering the country's legislation and maybe that are specific only to a pandemic so once after pandemic is clear once we back to the normal life so we can think of uh, rolling back to our normal attendance policies based on your company's requirement yeah uh, enabling mobile and online tracking online time tracking features so by enabling mobile feature and online time tracking feature so you can ask an employees to go and uh, record their time and record their agents in mobile or in uh, or online system so that uh, employees need, can work in remote and they can just track and uh, track the time record a uh, time that what they have worked and what they what they spent on the projects yeah they can they can just simply update their uh, start time and end time and uh, submit it submit the request so that it goes for manager for approval so in case the manager needs to rem modify something they they can just go and do the changes that whatever they require so basically you need to think of enabling a mobile feature for all the employees to especially to track the time uh, in this pandemic situation yeah 
proactive notification for potential violations such as continuous working without breaks. So you have to have the proactive notifications for potential violations like, you know, employees are working continuously without any breaks. Uh, so employees may, may not, maybe they'll not take a break. They'll be keep working without breaks. So th this will, this will, finally this will affect their health. Yeah. So you can have proper mechanism in place where you will you will uh, send a potential violation notifications for these potential violations so basically you can send a notifications maybe to a manager or to a hr administrator saying the employee is working uh, continuously without break so which will uh, leads to a employee's health uh, maybe uh, he will it will affect basically it will affect to the employee's health yeah, you can have a proper mechanism in place to avoid this situation, especially in this pandemic. Temporary disablement of biometric terminals of on -site, for on-site workers, which reduce across employee infection. So as I told you earlier, so you, uh, you had to think of disabling the, uh, the biometric terminals that whatever we have uh, in the organization for the on-site worker, especially the, when the employees are come back to the organization if they're working in the organization especially the shop floors so they'll go and try to uh, record their time in the biometric terminals that the, whatever they we have as of now in the organization so uh, by disabling this biometric terminals temporarily so uh, we can avoid the cross spreading of cross employee infection uh, especially for the on-site workers yeah you can also have a different guidelines to sterilize or to clean or to disinfect the clock machines so you have to pro you have to have a proper guidelines in place where there will be a separate team to sterilize this clock machines which eventually is, uh, reduce the impact of pandemic in the organization yeah so expedite the time data changes uh, adopting by adopting a modern tools to import the bulk ships. So as I told you initially, uh, we need to think of in, uh, having a different tools where we'll plan the shifts, shift patterns of the employees outside of the system. And basically we will just uh, put it in the Excel and we can directly import into the system so that you no need to go on employees, employee wise in the screen in the system and if you have you no need to go and modify employee wise you can just plan everything in the excel sheet and you can again is the employee codes and you can directly import it into the system so uh, it'll uh, basically it'll speed up your uh, shift planning and uh, shift changes and uh, you can communicate to employees that in which shift and what time the employees employees has to work and we also think of uh, having the api facility to import the uh, shift changes that whatever we have planned especially in this pandemic situation enable the required permissions to administrator to change the time data so uh, you may have to think of enabling the uh, hr administrator to change the time data on employee wise so instead of you go on uh, say for example employees work schedule as per the work schedule employees has to work for eight hours in that particular week and on one day, due to some other the reason, uh, reason uh, you may have to reduce the employee's working time. So in that case, uh, you may have to, you, you have to enable the right permission for administrators so that they can go and change directly in the system again as to that particular employee. Yeah, uh, adopt temporary work, change, work schedule assignment feature for quick changes of the working hours for specific days instead of changing the entire working pattern. So as just now we have discussed, so instead of we changing, say for example, employees working work as per work schedule, he has to work eight hours for the in that particular week, and in a, in on one day he has to work only six hours, for example, because of various reason. So you no need to go and change the entire work pat, working pattern or for that particular week, or you no need to create a new uh, different working work schedule to handle this situation. You can just you, the success factor has a standard feature called temporary work schedule assignment so that you can go and directly change in the system that how many number of working hours that employee has to work for that particular day 
yeah so update timesheet with different absence and admin type so by creating a different pandemic specific leaves and pandemic specific leaves your yeah uh, employees once they avail this pandemic specific leaves and regular regular leaves so a system will clearly differentiate like what are the pandemic specific leaves and what are the uh, regular leaves that employees avail so once you go and see this time sheet of an employee you can easily uh, even you can easily create a different reports uh, which eventually help you to take up uh, take up key business decisions and uh, you can also create a different dashboards which will give you a clear risk impact yeah so well now most of the countries many can they have lifted out the lockdown and the the covid is uh, getting a little bit better now so now this is time for employees uh, uh, coming back to the organization so the employees start coming to the work and now there are many precautionary measures that we need to take so that you can reduce the risk of impact and you can just reduce the cross employee infection so when we have all the employees in the organization so it is very diff difficult to maintain uh, like if you don't have a precautionary measures in place yeah so by replacing the existing contacted time machines with alternative options so we need to think of replacing the existing time recording machines where where we are recording the time of an employee through a, a, a fingerprint scanning so you can think of replacing those time recording machines with contactless time recording machines yeah so adopt touchless time machines to record the employees at me so you may have to think of uh the, the in market we have a different time machines to record the employees time so you may have to think of which time recording machine is suitable for your organization which which should be your touchless time machines yeah also you can think of purchasing a infection proof time recording machines to avoid the cross across employee infection so uh you have you, you there are many time machines where you can uh, adapt that which are infection proof so that you can just reduce the risk of pandemic and reduce the risk of uh, cross infection in the organization due to this uh, time machines especially in this pandemic you can also think of adapt adopting a face recognition time recording machine so like as soon you go into the organization so a system will recognize your face and the system will capture your uh, time yeah use mobile phones as a punch in and punch out uh, which will replace your plastic punch in punch in card so so as of now most of the organizations are using a plastic cards which is a uh, time cards to uh, capture your time so why can't we think of having a mobile phone uh, where all the all your whether through a qr code or through a barcode which directly so which directly you can just go and scan through your mobile which will uh, automatically will capture your start time like your punch in time basically so you can think of uh, using a mobile feature or you you can think of using a mobile which will replace your uh, existing punch in plastic punch in cards ensure the time machines are disinfected or sterilized to avoid the risk of pandemic so as we discussed earlier so we need to have a proper guidelines where we all, we always have to have have to focus on disinfection program of this uh, time machines and you also think of sterilize so that you can avoid the risk of pandemic and you can avoid the risk of cross cutting between the employees in the organization adopt appropriate time recording machines which should non violate your compliance guidelines so you have to adopt the proper and appropriate time machines time recording machines which will not violate your uh, policy guidelines maybe all this time and attendance time data or the attendance data that whatever we capture through this time recording machines should not violate your company's uh, policies basically this is little sensitive data and it it has to be in uh secure way so you also have you have to consider all those aspects and adopt your adopt the appropriate time machines uh in the organization 
yeah so there are uh, different strategies where you can uh, take so that you can have a productive environment basically you can have a productive environment in the organization even though we have uh, this pandemic yeah so uh, create a flexible working environment so instead of we having a strict work environment so you you can be little flexible when the employees uh, whenever the employees wanted to work in work they can just go and work so uh, basically uh, instead of you having a shift schedule from eight to six uh, the standard shift schedule you can have a flexibility in that and you can ask an employees to work are they convenient again you are again well, you have to ensure it should not affect your ongoing projects create a knowledge sharing culture in the organization so that uh, you have a backup uh, backup for the projects to run and backup for uh, for uh, your daily activities on the ongoing projects so you you also always, always uh, uh, you encourage employees to share their knowledge among the team so that the key employees if the key employees got affected due to this pandemic or whatever it is so you always have the backup where other people can take up that particular task and they can execute which eventually help you to run your day-to-day -day activities without any impact or with very very minimal impact yeah, shows it shows a commitment towards employees' health and welfare as well as their families. So, by having a proper time and attendance management system is in place, by providing uh, pandemic-specific leave types to the employees, uh, it shows like we are committed. Being an organization, so we are committed towards the employees' health and their uh, families' uh, health as well. So, uh, when employees apply for this pandemic-specific leave, so uh, if we have the workflows are updated uh, and then if you if you have this COVID-19 task force team is created in the organization so the, they'll go and contact employees and uh, uh, they'll get they, they'll know they'll try to get the information from employees whether they got affected and any one of their family members got affected all those details when we get this kind of information from employees so even employees will feel better that uh organization is taking care of their health yeah so it shows basically it shows a commitment towards the employees health and their families uh you can think of implementing a cross training programs which will help you to uh even uh, which will help employees to grow themselves as well as you will always have a backup and uh, you no need to depend on one uh you you'll be having a skill set across the organization yeah so uh, looking for alternative methods to track employees work despite of recording their working time on the project so it is just not you're recording the time of the uh, time of the employee that he has spent on the project you also have to think of uh, different alternative methods that are available in the market or you can just think of uh, adopting a different uh, uh, methods or innovative methods so that you can easily uh, uh, record the work that whatever the employee is spending on the work and removing the barriers for remote working so by relaxing your network restrictions and by whitelisting your IPs, you can just remove the barriers so that employees can access the company's network outside of the company as well. As in the special motivational programs, which makes the people connected. So now in this pandemic situation, so employees are working in remote and they're not in contact with each other. So by having a proper motivational programs in place, by planning these kind of motivational programs, you can plan, uh, the programs in such a way that they you can make the people connected so that they'll they'll not feel that they're out of the system, out of the organization and they're working in remote they'll always be keep connected so that which will help you to have product, productive environment in the organization so establishing a flex, flexi or reduced shifts 
So in this pandemic, uh, you can establish a, a flexible shifts for an employees to work. And you can also reduce the shifts uh, where uh, employees may have to work the less than the number of working hours that what, what is expected. Incentivize productivity. So you can also have, bring the different incentive plans for uh, uh, employees where if they work more than uh, the working time that what they need to work. So you can also plan some incentives for uh, employees so that they'll execute the work in uh, uh, at the right time. Know your obligations and implement country specific compliance guidelines. So you had to know the obligations and you had to ensure all the country specific compliance guidelines have has to be followed and that has to be implemented in the organization, especially in this pandemic situation. Coordination and communication is a key in the uh, organization, especially in this pandemic situation for creating a productive environment and you can just get the best outcome from the employees. You had to determine the employees leave eligibility and mandatory paid sick leaves accrual generations. So here you had to clearly uh, determine like, what are the leave types that uh, employees are eligible for and what are the mandatory paid sick leaves that we need to create as per the country specific compliance guidelines. And, uh, we, like, and we need to generate the accruals for those particular sick leave types or the uh, pandemic specific leave types. And we can have different reports and dashboards created, which will help you to take a key business decisions, especially in this pandemic. Yeah, so by time and attendance management, you again, uh, as I told you earlier, it is a very essential and it is very, uh, it plays a very vital role in the organizations uh, to create a productive environment, productive environment, yeah. So these are the few key takeaways from this uh, webinar presentation. So you can focus on employees' health and welfare, and uh, you can uh, have shift schedules to manage work with minimal impact and the productivity. So by having a proper shift schedules in place, by planning a proper uh, work schedules patterns, you can have the minimum impact on your uh, current ongoing projects. And uh, you have a very good reporting and dashboard creation capabilities for a time and attendance management, which will drive to take a key business decisions in the organization. Uh, complaint specific leaves and work policy amendments. So you can create different complaint specific leave types, especially to in this pandemic situation. And also you can think of amending the existing work policies, uh, which may be a temporary. And once after this pandemic is clear, then you can uh, roll it back to the uh, regular working policies. Uh, you can also think of uh, relaxing the connectivity barriers while the employee is working in remote so that you'll not be having any impact in the connectivity. So even you can reduce the uh, risk on your ongoing projects. Uh, forecasting demand of manpower, which will ensure to create, create productive environment and reduce the risk of high and low demand of manpower. So you by considering this pandemic situation, it is very important that you have to forecast the demand of man, manpower that you required to handle the existing projects without any impact. Yeah, prepare for employees return to work. So once the lockdown is lifted out and once the pandemic is clear, so you being an organization, you have to prepare yourself where uh, where the employees are written to work. So when you have, like, basically you need to take some precautionary measures so that once the employees are back to work, so you will not be having much impact and uh, you know, uh, the, the cross spreading of this pandemic. Think of getting the touchless time recording machines to avoid the cross employee infection. So you, especially the time recording machines to be replaced, the touched, the touching time recording machines. So now most of the organizations are using the biometric systems, which are scanning the 
fingerprint to record the employee's time. So in future, we need to think of touchless time recording machines, so which we have discussed earlier, like the face recognition time machines or uh, mobile phone time tracking machines, something like that. You just need to think and uh, uh, we have to avoid the uh, existing touched biometric terminals, which will help you to uh, avoid the cross-employee infection. You also have to have the uh, policy guidelines, the proper policy guidelines in place for disinfecting or sterilizing the time recording terminals that whatever we have in the organization. Yeah. So these are all the key ta takeaways that we need to carry from this webinar. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for your patience to listen to me. And uh, if you have any questions, you can just uh, let me know so I can answer all of your questions. Yes, please, please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we'll just give it a minute. Um, if you don't have any questions now, then you can email us later at uh, webinar at talentteam.com. We'll always get back to you. If no questions, then I uh, just really thank you. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, hopefully we will see you in our future sessions. Um, so thank you and have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank, thank you. you, everyone. Bye.